So here's the carrier for the BBC World Service from Madagascar Relay on the County Com GP7 SSB 12095. 13,000 kilometers from here using the telescopic antenna only. So this is uh, pretty cool to hear the BBC Madagascar Relay so strong at uh, 04 UTC that's midnight local here in Montreal and it's been uh, a German psychologist and sleep scientist whose research focuses on the importance of exposure to daylight as a sleep aid speaks to a clinical professor of neurology about why we all need to be getting a full night's rest and the different factors that affect women's sleep patterns from age to pregnancy this is the BBC World Service the world's radio station Welcome to Newsday on the BBC World Service with Beverly Ochieng in Nairobi and Rob Young in London. Coming up, the armed forces have been authorized to take control of all prisons in Ecuador following a wave of violence. In one city, 17 prison guards and other staff are being held hostage. We'll get the latest from the capital, Quito. Also ahead, the European Union says it can help Ukraine export the bulk of its grain through overland routes after Russia to offer a deal allowing food to be shipped across the Black Sea. We'll also hear from someone urging countries to become more resilient to climate change and learn how to adapt to a rapidly changing planet. And why a key British climate commitment, a ban on sales of new petrol and diesel vehicles by the year 2030, is now in question. Those stories and more after the bulletin of the latest world. BBC News, hello, I'm Gareth Barlow. The government of Ecuador has declared a state of emergency in all prisons in the country and authorized the armed forces to take control following a wave of violence. The declaration set off violence in a local jail in the city of Esmeraldas, where 17 prison guards and support staff were being held hostage. Christina Munoz spoke to the BBC from the Ecuadorian capital, Quito. Ecuador is facing the worst jail crisis in its history because at least 31 inmates were killed during the military action that allowed to free the prison guards that were held hostage in different jails in different cities simultaneously. And I say at least because 14 inmates were injured and the death toll might rise in the next hours. It started officially four days ago when two of the main gangs were fighting over drug-controlled territories. 